Hello YouTube and welcome to Eltrius Plays. This is the retrobating part of the channel where I play old games, but of course, if you're not aware of the hype, this is Quake 2, and it has been re-released by Bethesda in a sort of a surprise move, where anybody who already had Quake 2 on Steam is just given this for free. I am actually going to turn the music down a little bit, because um, I can't hear myself think. I promise at the end of the Quake 1 series, go and watch that if you've missed it, that I played Quake 2 at some point, and then I played Tron 2.0 instead, and then I sort of didn't play anything else. But the hype around this, and the fact that I said I was going to play it, meant that I am playing it now. So we're going to play this, the original version. Looking at this model, right, you wouldn't think that that was the uh, the new version. Let me show you some things. Let me let me show you some things. Let me show you some things. Enhanced models. No. That's the old one. That's the new one. They've, they've changed it, but they've not changed it. I don't understand. How have they done this? Anyway, there's a, do you want this on? No, neither do I. Um, welcome. Welcome to Altris Plays. I'm Altris, and we are going to play this game now. I could have launched the original version of Quake 2, but we're going to watch the new version of the cinematic. Oh, and uh, fair warning to you watching on YouTube. This is a Twitch stream as well, so I'm doing both at once. So if I talk to chat, I'm not talking to you, so butt out. Uh, leave a comment if you appreciate that. Or not. New game. Level select. How old is this game? Tutorial. Quake 2. Uh, can we try Nightmare? I don't know if the enemies respawn in Nightmare, so I'm going to say no. I I'm old, right? Let's do it on hard mode. Oh. Straighten the nostalgia. Do you remember this? If you've not seen this before. You're seeing this giant gun. Oh, that line.
That's just the best intro. I had not seen anything like this in 1997. This was insane. It was only a couple of years, if, if a couple, after Quake. Back in the Draw in the blinds in an effort to get my internet connection to be a bit more stable for Twitch. Sorry, YouTube. You have just seen things going on live. Oh, that's too slow. Uh, Did I do what? Oh, there we go. Still kind of slow. Man, this game is so fast. I love it. Last well, compass. Uh, how do I computer update? What? Nice. Actual slow mo. Yeah. Uh, give me the. We have to do this every time, right? You should be used to it. Customize bindings. Uh, help computer. F1. Computer updated every time. It's brilliant. Look at this, Scott. I'm now walking slowly, probably because I'm trying to read, but I can move and aim at the same speed. Uh, parameters: Savage communication with the ship. Second, locate base installation. This is. Uh, remember this. Right click for jump, what are you talking about? I'm gonna turn that off. <laughs> just just space. I don't, I don't need Oh if I okay, I can remove it by applying it again, but Yeah. What I actually want now of course is um actual zoom in or something. Remember the adrenaline down here? It's time to be activated to use it. Really? Q equipment rail. Compass. Adrenaline. Okay, cool. I thought that that was... Can we not crouch? This is standard. You know this is standard. Don't... Don't get confused. Crouch. Shift. What? Is this like the default bindings from the original flipping... Uh, run, walk, shift. Crouch, control. Let's do that. Or C. Look how many bindings you can have. That's brilliant. I'm not going to remember all of the uh, secrets and things. I apologise for that now. But only a little bit. Um. I've also turned off um, auto... Auto change weapon. I seem to remember that adrenaline permanently increases your health by one point, which is why we used it. Uh, also, notice that um, <laughs> you can explode that without the barrels, and then you're stuck behind some barrels. Also, you don't need to reload. So much of this is exactly the same, and so much of this is different. This is amazing. When I first played this game, I had it on CD. I still have it on CD. I'm not going to take a picture. You just have to trust me. But, um... Whoa! 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 I'm sorry, I was talking. Silencer? What's that for? <laughs> Am I ever going to use that note? Watch out, some of them don't die fully. Um, I had on CD. Bought it on CD. Because that's how things just were in the old days. You bought something, you owned it forever, and I've still got a CD. And I asked my dad if I could install it to the hard disk. Because you had to load every... Um, everything was loaded from the CD. If you ever loaded stuff from the CD, you'd know how tedious that can get. So I installed it. Dad said, how big is it installed? He said 500 megabytes. He said 500 megabytes. Because we're not going in there. Um, that was that was a big number in those days. Now, the whole thing I think installed was 3 gig for all of the parts, including the music. Which you know, if you had the CD, you got the music. If you had the CD in, but I had tried to turn. But my mouth, my mouse hand ran into something on my desk, which is a terrible excuse. And I'm going to move to find it. Again. 
moving mice. What an archaic concept. Um, I'm uh, noticing that these first aids are only giving me 10 HP each. Now, shift for swim down makes a lot of sense. I forgot he was there. I knew he was there, and I forgot he was there. Um, get out of it. You're trying to reload. Uh, but crouch for... Shift, shift for swim down makes sense. Shift for crouch? Not, not so much sense. Well, I guess, who cares about warp, right? I'm, I'm double thinking. I'm, I'm rethinking my... Uh, my intractable opinions. Maybe I can track them. Now, I've not done too well, as you can see. I <laughs> started off a little bit uh, on the... Oh! Actual shadows. Brilliant. Uh, a little bit on the wrong, wrong track. Now. What are you up to? Get out of it. Oh, I want the ammo, don't I? Not the ammo, the hell. The, the atmosphere of this part of the game. Remember Quake 1, right? And if you don't remember Quake Wrong, Quake One, go back and watch the videos of me playing Quake One because they weren't that. It wasn't that great, right? The, the atmosphere. I remember there was a huge amount of criticism of Quake One for being so brown. Yeah, I don't ask one of you. Um, is this one of my friends? This was never here. This is a new bit. I'm sure. Let me up. Um. Let me go back in. There's a lot of criticism for Quake One being so brown, and I'm like, oh, this game, and it's got so many actual colours associated with it, and coloured lighting. Oops. Get lost. And enemies that keep shooting after they've died? Really? I've heard of such a thing. Out of item. I remember those errors. Man. Didn't just say, you haven't picked that up yet. It's like, out of item. Oh, and they can shoot each other. What do those dudes remind me of, by the way? Pretty sure there's a secret in here as well. Oh, from Doctor Who. Yeah. Yeah, permanent upgrade. But I don't know what the compass even does. Oh. If you can't be bothered figuring out your way to the location. And the flies, oh man. The game just added everything. This is like a perfect intersection, in my opinion, between. Um, is that all the secrets, do you think? Uh, it's just before the levels got daft. The, the games got daft and massive and, and weird and. You know. Oh, slow down. Oh, it tells you. Goals 1 of 1, secrets 3 of 3. I've got grenades now. Did I just load the next level and then accidentally reload the original level? Because. Remember that? Oh, man. So much cool stuff here. <laughs> Ow! Um, was I sorry? I got sidetracked by so many things in the road just now. This design here where the enemies are attacking you from up above. Absolutely classic. I love that they've not added... Oh, I was saying it's a sweet spot, right? Because they've not added anything in this version of the game to, you know, embellish the levels with thrills. There's no frippery and stuff here. It's all just the original level geometry. I should probably stop picking up these med kits given how badly I'm doing. Um. Ah, look. The scroll wheel goes the wrong way. Um, I have to object that, in fact, there is no recoil on this machine gun. Why is there no recoil on this machine gun? That was like the main uh, cool thing about this machine gun, uh, is that it drags you upwards as you fired it. You had to fix your aim. And look, we'll play with it. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with it for now. Um, see if anyone's got a fix for it, because there's no way I'm going to forget that sort of thing. Come on. Like, trying to keep an aim on 
the enemies as you fire this machine gun. It's powerful, but the, the actual. I was just checking out. Again, um, oops, wrong button. Uh, you know, you had to do burst fire basically because you kept losing your aim with the things, and now it's just. You know, that's a little bit weak actually. They do have monster closet still, so um, uh, it's not the period of where we got over that weird behaviour. Yeah, there's just enough. It's like Unreal. It's very much Unreal, and it's very contemporaneous with Unreal. I feel like there's a reason to go over here. Maybe not. Ow. Um, in that. There's just enough geometry to make the levels interesting, you know. We've got the extra lumps and bumps and, you know, there's trims and stuff on the doorways and things like that. But it could have been textures and might have been in the original quake, but are now it's just that late that you can uh, afford the polygons to do the extra. I love the fact that when you come through this, that bridge blows up and you can't actually... This game had um, a strafe jump, and I have no idea how to do it. I spent years, not years, but like, I, I had a coach at school. But not literally, but there was a guy called Alan Lau, no doxing, um, and he was really good at this uh, in multiplayer. And he was always, I remember he taught me, when you get in the lift, look up, go for the armor, look up was when you're on the lift, that sort of thing. Um, because, you know, there might be someone at the top trying to shoot you from uh, down the lift shaft. But it's... Why did I bring that up? <laughs> That's right. He was telling me about this strafe jump that you could do, which would allow you to get to a um, a secret in in the edge. Not, not the edge as in... Um, the YouTube guitarist, but the edges in the level, the multiplayer map. This is the bit where you go in there and you're like, oh, I found a secret, and then uh, hang on. <laughs> there's nothing here. Just drowning. Also, I don't think it tells you how long you've got left before you drown. Button? Thing. I love it. Can you, uh, put the button somewhere else where you have to find it? No, that's absolutely no puzzle. Establish communication link. Locate communication link. Right, so there's definitely some secrets in here. Goal zero two, secret zero two. Nothing's respawning. Oh, this might be the one with the secret. Other stuff. Not sure if it counts as a secret. No. Hello. Oh, there's a little, there's a clock telling you how long you've got before you start drowning. Also, I remember in this one, there is the rebreather so you can stay underwater for a while. You reckon the quad is a uh, inventory item now? Because there's quad damage in this game, I love them. Okay, this is activated. Oh, these things. What are these things? That noise used to terrify me. Because it meant that you knew they were there, but you had to activate them. You knew that they were making you activate them. Brain your health. Do you think they heal? I'm not sure if they do. This is just so classic. There's nothing like this right now. I've never played a game in recent years where you can just circle straight things and then like, win. <laughs> I think you have to jump on this before you. Uh... It is used. Interesting. Keep pressing R, trying to reload. <laughs> Was there an equipment wheel in Quake 2 originally? I do have the opportunity, the option in this game, to um, launch the original game if I want. A little bit of trivia for you when they first did this. Um, in fact, I'm, just, I'm saying that, I'm not sure now. Because it was this and in Quake itself, right? Um, I'm just trying to remember where the secret is around here. 
might have to come back to this actually. Oh, there's nothing here. Uh, if you had a hardware accelerator. Oh, yeah. Oh, secret level place. Oh, I love this level. Um, you wouldn't get the wobbly underwater effect because back in those days, it didn't. Oh, that keeps happening. <laughs> Luckily, it takes no time. Um, the, the graphics hardware was just doing triangles, right? But if you had software, you could do sort of post processing. Locate a powerful weapon. Oh, ho, 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 you know what's coming. If you played this game, you know what's coming. I'm full on ammo, but I can still pick up the shotgun. Weird. Shut your face. Don't lose your head. Lol. I'm guessing I should avoid picking that one. Well. I should, but I can't. <laughs> I screwed it up. Remember this, uh, every time you make a slightest movement noise. Another silencer. I don't I don't think I've ever used a silencer in this game. So this level is cool because by the way, barrels explode. Um of this train is a train. It's crazy. And I'm glad that we get post processing on the GPU now. We may need the rebreather at some point. Now I remember there's a secret or two in this level as well. Oh, this is the entire... No, it's not. It's just this level has six secrets in it. Now, this game made me. And I mean it made me. It forced my hand. I was required to... Um... And you're standing. It's okay. And you're standing. Uh, in, in trying to make maps. For making maps for... Wait. Oh my gosh. Satisfying the BSP? Didn't never happen. What is this? Being able to shoot me nonsense. Ow. Also, don't get crushed by the... train. <laughs> you know what? Let's just go in the lift. Let's get him that way. How much HP have you got? Collecting a few more shells. Do you know what? I don't think I'm in danger of running out of ammo. <laughs> that seems like a, a long way off. This game introduced us to the BFG 10K, which is the BFG 9K conclusion, but even flipping better. Yes, you can shoot that button. Maybe we should save the... Uh, Single HP that can over heal us. Uh, for. You know, when we're actually well healed in the first place. What's doing down here? Hmm? I think that just opens that and then. Like, yeah, okay. um, this, I think, is a time limit. Could be quick with this one. I think you want to shoot it like this. <laughs> Oh, but over here. Did not open that? No. I know that something here does. Do this. That was it. This button, I think, just opens it in case it closes on you. I cannot remember what this one does. That's a problem. What bother? How bothers? Right, well, let's keep playing. We're uh, on our way to riches. Thanks for the armor, Shad. Just didn't quite break all the armor when we got there. I don't know how they just jump down on you, by the way. Ow!
the, the weapon select wheel is a really cool thing. I did not realise that. I'm going to move that sends itself off again. Out of item chain. They don't surprise you with what sort of uh, weapons you can pick up, huh? So the, if you haven't seen it before, by the way, the, the um, effect, the BFG 10k effect, even in original, the original version. Oh, you guys, huh? And this. Uh, Quick two game here. It was pretty astounding. Is that a weapon change noise? <laughs> yeah, it's so arcade. I love how Id have always just done these stupidly arcade games. Oh, that reminds me. You need to. Um... There'll be some of this in the first episode. There always is. Uh, findings. I don't understand how next weapon and previous weapon could be anything other than upwards and downwards. How is previous weapon upwards? What sort of list are you using? I never got the hang of the strafe jump. That's the point I'm trying to make. Go up here and talk to these guys. Oh, there. Okay. You need the red key. That was commander key noises, and you can't tell me otherwise. There's definitely a secret here, but I think it opens when you get ganked by enemies. I found a secret area. I accidentally uh, acknowledged the secret by running around that. Of, uh, I wonder how long that's bug's been there. Is that like the default bug? Has that always been? Maybe. Right, we need to we need to go running around. Let's go um let's go ride the train. Generally speaking, oh of course if you uh, shoot this. I forgot the primary part of this secret, which is to go this way. Oh I'm gonna find the Oh it's not always a secret. You're supposed to know to shoot those. It's actually part of the game. Huh This is definitely one of those don't think about it too hard sort of situations, right? <laughs> who's who's building these places? Don't worry about it. So you go in here. This opens up. Shoot this guy. Who is not invited. Shoot this guy. Who's not invited. You get the super, super shotgun. Which, honestly, is so nostalgic. <laughs> you... If you've not been here before, then this is not nostalgic to you. But I have. This game influenced many um, sort of school projects for me as well. How do you open this again? Remind me how to open this. I think there's a button. I've just not seen the button. You just shoot it. You just shoot it. <laughs> Who would have thought that the way to get into the thing is to just shoot the thing? Ah! The invulnerability. That's going to come in useful. I'm saving up a lot of these things, but maybe we should, um... Not. <laughs> I'm guessing you can only carry one of each thing. How are we doing our secrets? Oh, we found them all! There's just a few more kills to make. Which is great, because there's so much more... Oh, good timing. There's so much more uh, place to explore. I love that there's a health back on this. They've... These levels are so hard to make. The engine was just... in flipping insane. These things hurt, by the way. <laughs> you know it. I think even those explosions hurt. 
That explosion, by the way, was very, uh... What's the word? Quintessential of Quake 2. We should, um... We should do this. I thought you guys had to stop to shoot. That's rude. And then we need to figure out how to get into there. This might be what that other button... Uh, two trains. You're spoiling me. I think there might be something down there. Yeah, it seems likely, doesn't it? That's why there's a splash pool. Oh, that's where we were. Ooh, careful. Right, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, if I jumped down there, I said it's fine. And then I forgot. It's fine. Still fine. Don't get the bends. Okay, we're good. <sighs> eh. You're fine. I do not know what that does. It's possible that it opens that and you're supposed to go through the secret the other way. Or you can just go through the secret in other directions to begin with. I don't know. I think the only way back is to ride the train, so we'll do that. No. Where are you coming from? I already killed you all. There's two more. Could you be any louder? <laughs> I love how there's a silencer in the game, but it makes all this noise. Oh, that's a silencer, right? I thought it was a shotgun. It's making all this noise, but there's a silencer as well, available as well. One more. I think I'm going to not worry too much about the final one. 64 65. Eh. Alright, that's been a good first episode. Thank you for watching, YouTube. Twitch, don't go anywhere. Uh, I'll be back whenever I release the next one for the next episode of this, but I'm going to keep recording, so they should come fast and quick. But again, thank you for watching. hope you've enjoyed it. Go and check out the previous series of the retro baiting section of the, the website, the channel. We've got Original Quake, we've got Tron 2.0, we've got Hexen in there somewhere. Go and see what you can find, and I'll see you next time. Bye!